Good morning. It's Saturday morning, September something. I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm about to go for a walk. I'm going to pick up Julian. He's at my mom's house. She, he spent the night last night. So I'm going to walk to her house, get him, and we're going to walk back. And that's going to be our walk for the day. And then um, I work in the afternoon. So he's going to hang out here for a little bit. Then we're going back to mom's because I'm going to remove this color off my hair. And we're going to put some brown in so exciting i wanted to show you the living room so far this has been really hard to not show this because i'm trying to be you know I, i'm trying to get this channel popping and like i i share a lot on my instagram and i don't know if those people then migrate to my channel but i need <laughs> i need subscribers i need views on this youtube you know what i'm saying like that's what's gonna really um you know, just get it, get it popping for me. So I'm trying not to overshare on Instagram, but it's so hard because I got a lot of stuff done the last few days and I've been like, damn, I want to show y'all, but like, you got to wait for the vlog. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. I'm going to do an updated apartment tour as well. Once I get my couch, it should be coming soon. But, um, this is what I have on for my walk this morning. This is some clothes I have to put away later. So don't look at that. But I just have on a hoodie and some leggings. These are like workout leggings from Walmart. And then I have this like tank top underneath in case I get hot while I'm walking, I can take it off. The take off the hoodie, wrap it around my waist, and then I, you know. But it's chilly out today, so I don't know if I'll be taking this off. And then I just have these Pumas that I've worn. or Are they Pumas? I don't know. But yeah, because it is really chilly out right now. I just put my hair up per usual. I don't do much with this thing, but... And this is the, this is what the living room looks like so far. I cannot wait to get my couch. Like, I just feel like it's just the last thing that's gonna bring everything together. We got some new curtains, just some shears, and my windows go like up high. So like there's this stupid ledge there and then that's the window. So these look so pretty. It makes it so much brighter in here because it was those stupid dark, brown curtains that whoever lived here left them here um so this is a coffee table that i thrifted i'm still deciding what i'm going to do with it if i'm going to spray paint it all the way gold or leave the wood um what do you guys think i would love to hear what you think i should do with this because i could you know it could go it could definitely look more modern um i was thinking of spray painting it gold so that it matches that little table i got this at ross um, it was $25, but, and then this is the pineapple from the <laughs> vlog from last week that my mom, she bought it for me. Cause I was like, this thing is, I forget how much this was, but I just felt like it was a little pricey for a pineapple. But yeah, that's my TV stand that finally came and my TV, my little smart TV. I love it. I'm so happy with how it looks. Like, even if I have to keep the paneling, like it looks nice and I really feel like once the couch is in here it's just really gonna pull it all together but anyway I don't want to show you guys too much because I'm gonna do the updated apartment tour but I just wanted to show y'all this more. Real quick. two more what two more accounts and I can make infinite accounts <laughs> I can make a thousand accounts if I wanted to so I was gonna try it out but then I realized it's it had this thing to make sure I'm not a robot Okay, so, and what happened? I just kind of like, oh snap, I can't. You like the trees? Yeah. How they shade? It looks like you're in the jungle. Yeah. You're like I you're could, walking somewhere special. I could, I could like, if I had the choice to live in the city, or live in this type of area, I would pick that type of area. Why? Because it's just so pretty. There's so much stuff around me. I just like it. Okay. Well, that's okay if you like it. You gotta do what makes you happy. If it makes you happy, that's all that matters. Yeah, happy place. Right. Trees all around. You can sing in Halloween is. Hmm. This. <laughs> I hate that bell, it's creepy. Who's ringing it? No, really? it's the best, it's the best. No, 
don't like my haircut? You don't like my haircut? You're gonna learn about it. Why doesn't it? Breakfast for you. We don't have any more sauces left. We do. I bought another one. I think. Making breakfast burritos. So we're gonna have eggs in it, sausage, cheese, and then I'm gonna wrap it in a tortilla. <laughs> Having breakfast. How's your breakfast? It is delicious. <laughs> ah, I love it. You want to tell me what it is? It, it is. was supposed to be a burrito, but it came out as a breakfast taco. It's good though. Either way, same thing. <laughs> a burrito just would have been rolled up, but I couldn't roll it because I stuffed it too much with egg and sausage. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. Hi, friends. Um different settings so you guys see that I actually do things. I just left Walmart and I'm actually on my way to the post office because I need to mail in, oh my, I have this shit still on. Um, I need to mail in my application and documents for my social security card so I can get a new one in my maiden name and then I have to so I have to mail my like physical driver's license and documents to them and then they mail them back. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do with my license? But I guess I have to take a picture of it and um, keep that as, you know, my license is, is active. I don't have no nothing, you know what I'm saying? But like, if I happen to get pulled over, if I need proof of my ident identification, um, I have to keep it in a picture in my camera roll. So anyway. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Um, I was at Walmart because I picked up a few things, a few groceries and a few things that I'm going to show you guys later. A couple. I wanted a BB cream. Like I, I don't want to wear foundation to work, but I want to wear something because my skin isn't there yet that I can't, that I feel comfortable wearing no makeup. Like I know it may not look that bad to other people, but to me, I don't like it. Um, so I, I found a BB cream. So I'll show you guys that when I get home. I'm on my way to the post office now. I'm gonna mail all that stuff out. Hopefully they send that back to me soon. And I haven't heard anything about my couch yet. Today's Monday, so today would technically be six business days, I think, or seven business days. So we'll see, maybe they haven't gotten it yet, but hopefully they'll call me and let me know soon. It's like 62 degrees out today. The sun is out, so it's not too bad, but I'm hoodied up. I got my sweats on and my sneakers. I had bought some new sneakers from Marshalls when I was there and I'm such not a sneaker person. Like I'm so used to being like either in flip flops or sandals or barefoot. So like I trip over my sneakers. <laughs> I just don't like shoes, but they're comfy and I feel comfortable and I feel like, you know, this is how I like to dress. I said that in my last video. It's just, it's, I don't have to wear my shapewear underneath. I don't have to be all tight and constricted and shit, which I hate feeling like that. Like. It's just not comfortable and people wonder why I always have such an attitude <laughs> when I'm out. Like, why don't you, I'll be like, I'm tight, I can't breathe. Like, I'm home now. Um, I'm about to start cooking because I'm starved. Good afternoon, it's um, Wednesday. I just came from Walmart. I'm about to um, blow dry this hair because I have an appointment. I'm trying to set this up for haircut tomorrow finally i'm gonna get some layers so um i'll insert a picture of what of the cut that i'm trying to get 
So I just want to show you really quickly what I got. Oh my god. To try one of these brushes. It's supposed to like blow dry your hair really smooth. So we'll see. I got some chi for flat ironing and I got this blow dry cream from Tresemme that I'm gonna try. So we'll see. This thing is like sizzling. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. I gotta stop waiting to the last minute to eat. I do this all the time. And then I be hangry. Mad. <laughs> this. Section. I cannot believe how light my roots are. Hmm. I don't know why I squint my eye when I'm doing this. Like, why do I, why do I make that face? Ooh, it's drying fast. I didn't finish it. I'm full. I'm not gonna talk too much right now because it's really loud. It's like five, so traffic is crazy right now. And I have my windows open because it's hot. It's really warm outside. But this is the finished result of my hair. Tomorrow I go and get layers. So um, that brush thing worked pretty good. I liked it. Um, it I think. My hair, my hair always blow dries better if I let it kind of air dry a little bit first. Like if I don't start blow drying it when it's soaking wet, um, it always dries better. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next time. Cause I had my hair wrapped in this, um, you know, the turban thing. And that key, I mean, there's a lot of, like it's damp, it's wet. So it does soak a lot of the moisture out, but I think I left it on a little too long. Um, so um, next time I'm gonna take it out and let my kind of just let my hair out and let it air dry and then section it and put the product in and then blow dry it. I'm doing the best that I can. I figure some press-ons for now. They're just like little, you know, nothing fancy. And then I, I painted my toes. I use this, uh, the gel, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. So this is like, you put the color and then the top coat. And depending on how long I have these on, I might paint them the same color just for a switch up. But this is nice, you know, it's clean, professional, nothing 
that I can't, you know, they're not super long, so it's not like I can't do anything. I can actually still do stuff, so. Julian is going back to school tomorrow, um, physical school, which is a decision that I have been going back and forth with myself and my mom for a while. Um, the remote learning just isn't, it's not, he doesn't do well with it. It's not, it, it's, he's not thriving, you know? And I, I want him to get the best education possible. So, and I spoke to the principal and she said that, um, that they're, the kids are doing actually a lot better than they had anticipated. They thought that they would be, you know, having more struggles with like the kids having to wear masks and stuff, but she said they're doing really good. So that was really comforting to hear. And she said that they keep them six feet apart at all times. They don't go to the cafeteria to eat their lunch. They eat lunch in their classroom at their desk, which is six feet away from the next student. Um, they take grade only, or uh, they, they go on recess per grade and only two, gla two classes per grade go to recess. So they're not all out in the playground together. Um, and she said they have not had anybody that had needed to be sent home because they were feverish or anything. You know, people are having seasonal allergies. That's a big thing on the on the um, East Coast because the weather is always like, from now till winter, the weather's gonna do whatever it wants. It's gonna be cold one day, it's gonna be hot one day. And if you are, I have allergies, so like you can't keep up with it. Like you're always stuffy, and, you know. Um, but she said the kids are doing really good. So, you know, I had a good talk with him and I, I made sure that he is aware that his safety is his responsibility. He needs to keep himself safe, which will in turn keep everyone else around him safe. So, you know, he knows that he needs to wash his hands all the time and keep hand sanitizer, don't be touching other kids, don't touch surfaces if you don't have to, you know, wipe things down before you touch them, all of that. So we'll see how it goes. I know a couple people who have kids in school and they said it's been going pretty good for them. So, you know, all I can do is just pray, you know, that, that God keeps him safe and all the other students safe and, you know, hopefully this will all be a distant memory soon, but this is a hard decision to make because, you know, I, I wanted to be able to be there for him to do the homeschooling. I'm just not, I just don't have it. I, you know, I, I don't have the time to sit here with him. I don't have the resources, like it's just a lot. So we're going to see how school goes. And, um, you know, if any, at any sign of anything, I'll pull him out, obviously, and make sure he's, you know, his safety is my, and his health is my number one priority. So Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I'm just flat ironing my hair because I'm about to go get, go get it cut. Um, I have to go <clears throat> at 10 o'clock and it's 9, like 9.15. And I'm pretty much done because I, I did my hair yesterday technically, but I did really like a light. I didn't really flat iron it. You know what I mean? Like I just got it kind of straight. So um, she's going to cut it dry because it's a lot easier to do it that way. So I hope that it comes out nice. I know I'm gonna have to really take off a good amount of length because my ends need it. And I, I know that's the only way that, um, that it, you know, my hair is gonna look presentable is if I cut off a good chunk. So I've already established and and come to the conclusion in my mind that my hair is going to be a little shorter but that's okay because i do want it to be healthy um and as far as the color i i, I like it it's it's definitely close to what i wanted there are some spots like here that didn't get um brown because i had done the color oops and it got really really light in those spots so I know those are spots where like I probably had a lot of blonde I always burn my face with this flat iron because of these plates on the side like why would y'all put them like that no wonder this shit was free I, this was sent to me long long ago and it's just not like it fucking burns me excuse me for cussing but like I've burned myself like four or five times with this stupid ass flat iron because of them plates on the side like why would y'all do that anyway yeah, I just I just want it to be healthy. Like I don't want to have length, but my length is long because it's damaged, you know? Like I'm probably going to get it cut to like like I want her to take off a good amount, you know? And I mean, that's still long. Like even if I, you know, like I still have length. That'll still be but it'll be more it'll be flowier and night, you know, it'll 
So my hair is done. I'm not gonna put any more heat to it because I'm gonna have her, once she cuts it and everything, I want her to like do some soft curls just, you know, so that I can really see the layers and see how it how it sits. But um, this is my makeup for the day, just a light, nothing. I'm not even gonna put on any lashes. Um, that's it. But yeah, I was just watching um, this other girl that I watched on here and she was saying how, you know, she put herself in a box when it came to YouTube, in a content box, you know, she, nobody else did it. She did it herself, you know, she automatically just did what she knew she was good at, which was beauty, you know, makeup and all of that, those types of videos, that type of content. And, you know, she was like, although she loves doing that, that's definitely who she is naturally. Um, she didn't think that you know, people would want to see other content from her. You know, she thought that because she started off as a beauty influencer, that's what she had to always do, you know. And she's like, I'm interested in so many other things and I do so many other things with my life. You know, I don't just sit around and play makeup all day. I have things that I'm, you know, other things that I love that I'm passionate about that, you know, she wants to share. And I just, I don't know, I felt that, you know, I was like, that's very, I can relate to feeling that way where you feel like you have to do a certain type of, you know, category of content as opposed to just doing what you like. And I think now um, people really appreciate realness, you know, they appreciate authenticity on YouTube as opposed to fancy, you know, well-produced, well edited videos i think people want to see the real they want to see you in your raw when you first wake up in the morning you know when you got crust in your eyes because that's real life we don't wake up like this you know you don't wake up good morning welcome to my youtube channel and you're always put together and you know so which i think i give you guys a lot of the real like i'll be on here looking busted and you know so i just wanted to show you my outfit for the day i just have on another champion hoodie that i had that I bought over the summer. I bought it with the one that I had on in the last video. They, I bought both of them together that same day. So they're from Marshalls. And I just have on some black leggings and some sneaks. Comfy, cause I don't, you know, I'm probably gonna get hair all on me and shit. So I want it to be comfortable and, you know, presentable. Um, I do have to run into the city. I have to go get a form um, for, it's, it, I have to go pick something up. So um, I'll probably leave right from my haircut and go and do that and then come home and then I have to do laundry later and stuff. But this mirror is dusty, what the hell? But yeah, this is the fit for the day. Casual. I was gonna get cute, like I was gonna look like a baddie, but I decided not to. Like I was gonna wear jeans and like these cute little um, heeled boots that I have but I'm like let me wait because it's just now fall let me hold off on the mock necks I want to wear them like I had it out it's on the chair that was what I was gonna wear but <laughs> I decided against it but I gotta leave or I'm gonna be late I really need to get a, a tripod for like for my car or whatever those things are called because this is ghetto rigged <laughs> this is not my angle girl nope so I'm on my way. We're about to uh, head over here. It's only like not even barely 10 minutes away, but I like to be early. Full speed, so holy belly. Speed boats, baby. In Nikki Peach. Ways in my ass, off and geek. I just left the salon. Um, she did exactly what I wanted. She gave me layers, she took the length off. So it's definitely shorter, um, but it looks so much healthier now. Like I'm gonna go home and probably bump the ends under a little bit and you know, so I can let them layers flourish. But yeah, I like it. She did a really good job and she's so fast. Like she's been a stylist. For many years, she know how to do a real quick layer cut. That's my girl, Lisa. Shout out to Lisa.
I feel like it's not up against the wall all the way, right? It is here for that. This is This is where I decided to put the coat rack, shoe rack thing. <laughs> I'm not really sure exactly what it's called or what it is, but I I like it here in this spot. I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna keep it here. Um, we definitely have enough room to like walk past it and not, you know, it's not crowded in the hallway, but like this is from standing in the kitchen. I think it looks good there. Tell me, tell me what you guys think, I don't know. But it has a bunch of hooks. So I just have some jackets, like my leather, faux leather. This is the bag, my purse that I use every day. And then there's way more hooks up here. I'm assuming could probably hang something from up there too. And then it has this little like, this is like a bench to sit on, but um, this the one came kind of messed up. So we ended up just kind of not putting it, to, like it's not completely, um, screwed in on the one side because the washers is it, it was a whole fiasco but my mom's gonna try to get her money back or get them to send her another one because this one it's not put together right because of the way they sent it you should be able to sit on this on the bench part like you sit there you put your shoes on you know what i mean like it's supposed to be a whole thing but i just have this this is a blanket that i bought for my couch whenever it decides to come i just put it here for now eventually i'll probably put more shoes but for now and then i just have like my work sneakers and then those are the sneakers i bought just like you know casual sneakers so i think it looks pretty cute there it kind of makes sense to put it there because before i had that i would just throw my work shoes like right there on the floor by the door because i don't like to track them in you know like walk in with them all through the apartment because my shoes are so disgusting from work so it kind of makes sense like you come in the door you hang up your keys you hang up your coat, your purse, you take your shoes off, you put your shoes there, right? Okay. <laughs> so I don't know. We'll see if I leave it so there. So that is the end of this week's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this little glimpse into my everyday life. Um, I'm literally just sitting around waiting for my couch to come. So I don't know what else to do until it comes. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, um, I appreciate all of the support on my last few videos. The apartment tour video just is now at a, over a thousand views. So that's pretty, pretty crazy to me for somebody who hasn't been uploading. Um, so I really appreciate you guys and I hope you enjoy these videos. Please comment um, all your thoughts on what I'm doing, my decorating and stuff. Let me know what you guys think about everything so far. And I will continue to upload these videos. This one should be available today. It's Saturday, so I'm going to upload it while I'm at work. Just sit my phone on the charger and let it do its thing. And hopefully it'll be up tonight. If not tonight, then tomorrow morning for sure. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much. I, I really appreciate it. And I love you all for watching. And, you know, I'm, I'm just happy to be back doing what I love to do. So hopefully this, this gets us somewhere. But... Next time you see me, it's gonna be a couch. It's gonna be a couch there. <laughs> I did talk to them. They said that it could be on the truck that's coming today. They got one yesterday. I'm assuming it didn't come on that one because what they would have called me by now. It's almost two o'clock. So I don't think it came today either, but we'll you'll see. We'll we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.